Hey guys, it's that dividend guy coming at you with another Robinhood portfolio update. Happy Monday. Hopefully everybody's having a GGD, a great green day in the market. You know I always wish the best for my viewers and subscribers. Speaking of subscribers, guys, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and do that. Today we closed at over 47k, up over $630 today, which is great. For the one week mark, we're up $1,700, up 3.82%. For the one month mark, we're up $4,200, up almost 10%. Three month mark, we're up $5,800, up over 14%. Uh, for the one year mark, we are up 11K, up 30.58%. And then all time, we're up $14,488, up 44% since April 13th of 2018. We do have buying power of $276.86 due to the 50 that we had sitting in there and then the 225 that we got paid tonight from Altria. So jumping into the portfolio, starting off with Realty Income, we've got 130 shares, $9,300 of market value, average cost is $67.12. 19.9% of the portfolio is in Realty Income. Uh, we're up $44 today, up $602 total, with a dividend coming in on the 14th of $3,205. Then we've got Allstate starting uh, the portfolio off with some insurance here with five shares. $617 of market value. Average cost is right around $120 a share. So still has to go down a bit before we can buy another share, but 1.32% of the portfolio is in Allstate. Today we're down 12 bucks total. We're up almost 25 up 4.19% on Allstate. Then we've got two shares of Chubb, about $400 of market value. Average cost is about 188. 0.85% of the portfolio is in Chubb. Today we're down a little bit, down 1.18%. Total, we're up nearly $23, up almost 6% on Chubb. Then we've got the company that paid us today at 50-50. 250 shares, over 12 k of, of market value. Average cost is right around $47 a share. So. We're up a bit on Altria. About 27% of the portfolio is in Altria today. We are up $182.50. Total, we're up over $900, up 7.7% on Altria. Then we're starting off the second set of months with Procter & Gamble with two shares, $329, $321 of market value. Average cost is $141.60. 0.7% of the portfolio is in Procter & Gamble. Today we're down $444. Total, we're up $38, up 13.4% on Procter & Gamble. Then we've got another consumer staple in Clorox. We've got three shares, about $540 of market value. Average cost is $172.53. 1.15% of the portfolio is in Clorox stock. Today we're down 60 cents total. We're up 21.52, up 4% on Clorox. Then we've got the biggest position with Avvi in this set of months being 75 shares, over 10 grand of market value. Average cost is right around $81 a share with 22% of the portfolio in Avvi stock, up $129 today, up over $4,100, up almost 70% on MV stock. Then we've got Aflac with 123 shares, $7,700 worth of market value. Average cost is right around 50 bucks a share. 16.5% of the portfolio is an Aflac. Today we're up $99. Total we're up over $1,500, up 25.7% on Aflac stock. Then we've got Prudential Financial, 40 shares, $4,500 worth of market value. Average cost is $103.26. 9.8% of the portfolio is in Prudential. Today we're down 13 bucks. Total we're up nearly 450, up 10.8%. Then we've got the last company in Travelers. We've got three shares, around $500 of market value. Average cost is 150 bucks. 1% of the portfolio is in Travelers. That will be going way up this year as insurance is our main focus. Down $650 today. Total, we're up $40, up nearly 9%. So, we will be buying some Aflac shares with this 278. So, we're going to go ahead and do that. So, I want two shares of Aflac. Well, actually, jump in looking at the average cost, I'll save the money. I was going to buy a couple shares of Aflac, but as you guys can see, it's up to $60, and I had it at $50. I don't want to go up 12 bucks a share. So I will wait on that, plus I have another month before I have to buy them. So 
Procter & Gamble's up majorly. How's Clorox doing? I want to check. 72 to 80 is not that much. So let's go ahead and buy a share of Clorox instead. There we go. It's in a queue. <clears throat> there we go. So we still have $88 remaining. So if there's another option that drops a little bit lower, um, that being Aflac or O or MO, we have some extra cash sitting around that we can redeploy. So by the market standard, let's see, by the year we're up 30%. So let's check and see how Berkshire and other um, ETFs are doing. Berkshire's up $37. So for the year, we're close to Berkshire. They're about 8% above us, which is, is uh, <clears throat> around the market average. Triple Q is up 20%, so we're beating Triple Q. Dow Jones is up 16, almost 17%, so we're beating the Dow Jones. And then the S&P 500 index was up around 23% for the past year. So we're beating the overall market for the year as well, which is awesome. So our 30% matches up pretty well for the year. So. With that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. Remember to hit the subscribe button on my YouTube channel, That Dividend Guy. We hit 47K. We just bought another share of Clorox. And um, I'm hoping to buy um, some more Aflac, Prudential, and Travelers, get those positions boosted and that money more evenly distributed throughout a monthly basis. So, with that being said, guys, I'll see you tomorrow with another Robinhood Portfolio Update. Take care, guys.